hi guys welcome back to another tutorial so today i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this draped cow neck top so if it's something you're interested in or if it's something you'd like to recreate please keep on watching and let's get started with the video so first things first as you can see i'm folding my paper into two and we're going to be drafting the back pattern first and right now i'll just draw one inch on top of my paper like this this would be um, the guideline for my shoulder then I'll go ahead and use my ruler to make a connection. So next, I'll take my shoulder circumference. And my shoulder circumference is 16. 16 divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. Then I'll come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. So next, I'll take my neck width, which is about 3 inches. Then I'll use my ruler to connect to that 3 inches I marked to the 1 inch I came down by for my shoulder slope. So the next measurement I'll be taking right now is my armhole measurement which is 8 inches and how I got that is by dividing my bust circumference by 6 and adding 1.5 inches to it. So right now I'll just go ahead and connect like so and I'll also draw this line. So right now I'll be taking my neck depth and the neck depth I'll be using for the back is 1 inch. So I'll just go ahead and connect as well. So now I'll go ahead and use my curved ruler to make a curve at the neck. So right now I'll go ahead and draw my armhole curve and I'll just divide this line by 2. It gave me 4 inches. Then I'll come in by about half of an inch. Then I'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect that half inch I came out by upwards like so. Then the next thing I'll do is to divide my bow circumference by 4. My bow circumference is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9. And I'll just go ahead and mark that 9 on my armhole like so. And use my ruler, my curved ruler to connect like so. So there you have it. That's the armhole um, curve. Then right now I'll draw my shoulder to my boss point which is 10 inches. So I'll just mark that 10 inches all the way like so. So I'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect. So next I'll be taking my shoulder to my waist which is 16 inches. So I'll also go ahead and use my ruler to connect. So right now i'll go ahead and measure from my shoulder to the blouse length and i think the length on the paper is enough for me so i'll go ahead and add my allowance when i'm cutting on my material so right now i'll go ahead and divide my bust circumference again by four which is nine inches and i'll add 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance i'll also add 1.5 inches on my armhole as well since i'm making a connection so next i'll be taking my waist circumference divided by four which is eight inches then i'll go ahead and add 1.5 inches as well for my sewing allowance then right here i'll be marking my hip circumference divided by four which is 10 inches then i'll add 1.5 inches as well for my sewing allowance i'll go ahead and use my ruler to make a connection like so so this is if you want the blouse to be fitted that's why i'm making this measurement right now so if you want it to be fitted you can just go ahead and do this so let me label the lines that's the bust point that's the waistline and that is the blouse length so for me because i'm using a chiffon top i don't want um this blouse to be fitted so i'll just go ahead and add about one inch for ease at the bust point and I'll just um, go ahead and mark a straight line to connect to the blouse length like so, so that it will be free. I don't want it to be fitted. If you want yours to be fitted, you can leave it the way we measured it at first. So next, I'll be adding about half an inch at the shoulder so that um, it doesn't come out short when we are sewing. So I'll just go ahead and connect like so. So right now, I'll just go ahead and label this as the back. I'll also write allowance here as well, so I don't forget to add my allowance when I'm cutting on my material. 
So right now we are just going to go ahead and cut it out. So this is our back pattern and uh, we are going to use it to cut out the front. So right now I'm going to be using two yards of this chiffon fabric and um, I'm going to place my pattern paper, that's the back um, pattern that we drafted. I'm going to go ahead and place it on top. So before cutting it, I'm going to go ahead and pin it down so it doesn't shift when I'm cutting. The fabric is kind of slippery, so if you're using something like this, make sure you pin before cutting. So right now, I'll go ahead and add the extra allowance I said I was going to add. I added at about 2 inches extra because I wanted the top to be a little longer. So if you want yours to be longer than it is on the pattern paper, you can make it longer. So now I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Please take your time while cutting if you're using a fabric sim similar to mine because um, it can get tricky and it can shift while you're cutting it, even after you've pinned it down. So just take your time. So this is the back pattern and we're going to go ahead and remove the pin and put it aside so that we can cut out the front pattern. So right now for the front pattern, as you can see, I pinned my material down as well so it doesn't shift and I folded my material into two. So when you are folding, you are going to fold about six to seven inches extra for um, the drapes and from the top of your material you are going to mark about 11 to 12 inches so i marked 12 inches depending on how full you want the drape to be you can mark 13 you can mark 14 but I, I, my mine is 12 inches so i'm just going to connect that 12 inches that i marked like so so from that line from that 12 inches that i marked i'm going to place my pattern paper that I drafted I'm going to place the tip of the shoulder at the tip of the line like so then I will use my chalk or my pen to trace the armhole out so I'm just going to go ahead and trace it out like this so while tracing I'll just go ahead and shift my pattern paper a little bit from the edge like so so just take your time while doing this just watch what I'm doing I'll just shift it a little and draw So I'll just keep shifting and marking. So I'll just go ahead and shift and mark. So as you can see, I drew the line all the way down. Sorry, my camera didn't capture that part. But just draw the line all the way down. And right now, I'm going to take my back piece and I'll place it on top of the front to make sure everything aligns. So I'll place the armhole of the back. I'll place it on top of the front pattern. So once I've made sure everything is aligned, I'll go ahead and just cut it out. So this is what your front piece will look like and right now i'm going to place the back pattern on top of the front you can see there is an extra allowance like a lot of allowances actually so i will place the back on top of the front and make sure the edges align like so so i'll just go ahead and cut out this excess So after cutting it out, I'll just place the armhole of the back on the front to make sure it is accurate. So right now, I'm just going to mark the edge of the front like so. Remember, this is the front pattern. I'll just mark the edge like so, and I'll cut it out. 
so right now i'll just go ahead and open this front up like so i just remove the pin and open it up then this edge i'm going to go ahead and overlock it if you don't have an overlocker you can just go ahead and sew it so right now as you can see i've gone ahead to overlock so right now i'll go ahead and bring in my pattern paper and i'll show you the reason why i said you should fold it into two when you are cutting because we are going to have to arrange the drape on the pattern paper and pin it down so now we are going to um arrange the drapes on the pattern paper so what we're going to do right now is to fold this um place that we overlocked that edge i'm just going to fold it just watch what i'm doing so i'm going to fold from that um edge that i cut i'll fold about um let's say one inch and i'll place it on top of my shoulder like so then i'll place the other side as well on top of the shoulder so any adjustments you want to make you can go ahead and make the adjustments now i don't want uh, my draping to be too low so i moved it up a little at the shoulder so any adjustments you want to make you can just go ahead and make them now so right now i'll go ahead and drape it again so depending on how many drapes you want you can make it um a little bit smaller than this so mine i'm just um draping it um like so so i'll do that also at the other side as well so before we drape the last one i'll make sure the armhole aligns um with the armhole of my pattern paper before i go ahead and drape the last one so i'll just go ahead and pin that part down first before draping so now i'll go ahead and drape the last part and i'll be leaving half of an inch at the edge so that when i'm um, attaching my sleeve i don't attach it on the drapes that i made so i left about half of an inch or you can leave quarter so i'll just go ahead and drape that last part as well so you can see how neat and beautiful it came out so right now i'll just put that aside so before i remove the pin at the front pattern i'm going to go ahead and cut out a facing for the back and as you can see i folded my material into two and i'm going to place the back pattern on top like so so i'm just going to use this um material to cut out a facing so i'll just go ahead and cut it out So I'll just go ahead and use my overlocker to overlock this down part and as you can see I've done that and I will go ahead and attach it to the back of my um, material. So I'll just pin it down first then I'll go to my sewing machine and attach. So right now I'm done attaching and this is what it looks like. I also went ahead to top stitch. So now I went ahead to add a hemming gum to the facing that I added at the back so that it lays flatly. So I added a hemming gum to it and I ironed it and you can see what it looks like. So right now I'll go ahead and remove the pin that I attached to the material on the pattern paper and I'll carefully remove the drapes as well, the pin on the drapes I mean. But while removing it, I will still arrange it properly on the material so you can see what i'm doing so the next thing i will do is that i'll place the back of my fabric i'll place it on top of the front like so but i'll make sure the armhole aligns with the armhole at the front and i'll use my pin to hold it down So I'll go ahead and do the same thing at the other side as well. I'll just make sure the armhole um, aligns.
For right now, I'll arrange the shoulder of, of the back on top of the front like so. I'll make sure my drapes uh, are in place as well. So I'll just use my pin to hold them down. So make sure you leave about quarter of an inch at the end to attach your sleeve. Then I'll go to my sewing machine to sew it down. So I'm done sewing and I'll, right now I'm just going to go ahead and trim out the excess at the shoulder. So after sewing the shoulder, you can see how the drapes came out. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and attach my sleeve to it. I already cut out my sleeve, so I'll just go ahead and attach the sleeve to it. And I will notch the middle of the sleeve like so. After notching it, I'll just place the um, front on top of the material. And I'll use my paint to hold it down. So once I'm done, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and attach both sides of my sleeves. So after attaching the sleeve to the top, I just went ahead to overlock it. And right now, I'll use my body measurements to attach both the front and back piece together. But I'll go ahead and pin it down first. So I'll pin the armhole first. I'll make sure it aligns. I'll use my pin to hold it down. So I'll just go ahead and hold both sides um, of the top down with my pin. And once I'm done, I'll take it to my sewing machine and use my body measurements to attach. So after attaching, you can see what it looks like. I also went ahead to hem the down part of the top and all it needs right now is just ironing. And we've come to the end of today's video please if you enjoyed this video and you've not subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to subscribe and you can also turn on your notification bell to receive videos from me thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye